For seven years, the Central Dauphin School District fought the release of this video from 2016, showing an altercation between a student and the wife of a then Central Dauphin East High School principal. School district officials claim protecting student privacy is the reason to keep the video private. The state Supreme Court disagreed. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Evan Forrester. And I'm Amy Lutz. The video has been out for several weeks now, and now the remaining question surrounding it is what did it cost taxpayers in legal fees to fight its release for those years? Tonight, we have a few more answers. Fox 43's Logan Perone continues to dig for answers. He went through more than 100 pages of invoices that detail the cost to Central Dolphin taxpayers. He joins us now with the details of what he found. And Logan, uh, as we've been reporting, it really appears to be a lot of money. Yeah, guys, invoice records requested by former Central Dolphin School Board member Eric Epstein showed the school district spent hundreds of thousands of dollars in legal fees. Now, when we first spoke with him earlier this month, he estimated the cost to be upwards of $250,000. Now, after combing through years of invoices multiple times, we found the cost could be much higher. After seven years and five court cases, the Central Dauphin School District was recently ordered to release this video of a 2016 altercation between an adult and a student. In the process of trying to keep the video private, the school district shelled out a hefty hunk of cash in legal fees. Invoices obtained through a right to know request submitted by former school board member Eric Epstein reveals 123 pages of the cost to taxpayers for the legal fight. We spoke with Greg Stoddenmeyer, who represented Fox 43 in the legal fight to obtain the video. Whether it's the average citizen or not, or a media company or whoever it is, is going to have to be incurring legal fees to fight these things, especially all the way up to the Supreme Court, and it can get quite expensive. That includes the Central Dolphin School District. From April 26th, 2016 through February 28th of this year, the invoices obtained by Epstein indicate Central Dolphin paid a total of $333,056 dollars and 58 cents to law firm Eckert Siemens. He believes at least $250,000 of that amount are for the video legal battle. I'm still a little dumbfounded as to why the district fought it as hard as they did, uh, particularly under the facts of this particular case. But they know that better than I do, and you'd have to ask them that question. Fox 43 did ask that question multiple times since the video was released on April 5th. Several phone calls and emails about the legal costs remain unanswered. Prior to the April 17th school board meeting, the question was asked if legal fees were in the $200,000 to $250,000 range as suggested by Epstein. No response to our questions. And during the meeting, Superintendent Dr. Norman Miller only had this to say. Inaccurate media reports have claimed the district spent $200,000 to keep a single school bus video from public access. That's wrong. However, to date, no one has offered proof of any reporting inaccuracy, nor a definitive answer from the administration on the actual cost. Stoudemire says the invoice records received by Epstein ultimately amount to the cost paid by taxpayers that they didn't know about. Anytime taxpayer dollars are spent, the public normally has the right to know how and why. The video should have been made public long before it was. Epstein's request was only partially granted, and as of today, he has filed an appeal with the Office of Open Records. He wants unredacted invoices to get a more detailed look at what the video battle really cost taxpayers. Now tonight, I talked to Epstein, who says he feels vindicated, and his appeal is to clarify the math. Now, we reached out to the Central Dolphin School Board and Superintendent Miller again just after 12.30 this afternoon with several questions. We wanted to know who authorized the payments, why there was a vote in favor of not allowing school board members to view the footage in 2018, and if any programs or activities were cut or lost funding during the seven-year time frame. Again, no one has responded with any answers. In the studio, Logan Perone, Fox 43 News.